Kelsey McGee joins us now with that. Kelsey? Ben, city councilors got an update on the city's short-term rentals tonight and suggested some possible changes in policy. Staff say, a bit, say about 2% of the homes in the city are used for short-term rentals, with just over 1,000 city licenses. New rentals in recent years have to be at least 250 feet apart, so the number of new permits has slowed considerably in recent years. Some councilors want to see more audits to find those who advertise vacation rentals without a permit. Those state that is available for short-term rentals, at least whole houses, right. whole house rentals in residential areas, is going to continue to dwindle. So, so we won't see that this you know, popularity is just soaring without any sort of cap. Um, eventually, we're going to run out of land. They also hope some owners could be convinced to move to long-term rentals for workers needing homes, including city employees. Lee, back to you.